Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss iOS 8.3, Beta 3, 8.2, and the overall jailbreak status. All right, and before we get started, visit Free Apps Fast on your iOS device to quickly and easily earn paid apps and gift cards. And if you're interested in me holding an all new iPhone 6 giveaway, be sure to rate this video up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. If we get enough likes by this weekend, I might announce the giveaway. And with that said, let's go ahead and switch over here. And we're going to discuss iOS 8.2 and the overall jailbreak situation. So earlier this week, 8.2 was released to the public by Apple. As of now, you cannot jailbreak the firmware. Taiji does not function on iOS 8.2 as it was patched when Apple released 8.1.3 and we're currently uncertain whether the jailbreak developers will target iOS 8.2 or instead 8.3. I will keep you guys completely notified along the way as things develop and progress however and we do know one thing for certain that a jailbreak is indeed coming. And with that said I wanted to also clarify some misconception concerning iOS 8.2. Several people around the web are stating that since iOS 8.2 does have some security fixes it closes the vulnerabilities that Taiji was intending to exploit in their next untethered jailbreak, which is why they haven't released it yet. That's the furthest thing from the truth. While iOS 8.2 does include some security fixes, it's uncertain whether they were even exploitable for Taiji to incorporate into their next jailbreak at all. In fact, unless the vulnerabilities were obvious, pinpointing the exact ones without Apple knowing would be the equivalent of them trying to find a needle in a haystack that's at the bottom of the ocean. It just wouldn't happen, and chances are slim to none that it would by coincidence. Moreover, with every new iOS release that includes new features and changes, it opens up the possibility for additional vulnerabilities that could potentially be exploited. So in other words, we're not going to run out of exploitable vulnerabilities. Anything you see stating that iOS 8.2 has delayed the creation of the next jailbreak because it closes the vulnerabilities intended for exploitation is 100% based on conjecture and speculation. As of now, we don't know one way or the other, and we won't until Taiji officially announces something. And again, they likely won't do that. They'll just release the next jailbreak when it's ready. And as of now, we don't know if they're targeting 8.2 or instead 8.3. All right, and having said that, let's go ahead and get started with today's news. So again, today, as the public eagerly awaits the release of the next utility capable of delivering a jailbreak for iOS 8.2, Apple seeded the third beta iteration of iOS 8.3, being 8.3 beta 3 to developers officially enrolled in the company's iOS developer program. As usual, Apple's iOS 8.3 beta is available for instant download via either the customary iOS Developer Center or as an over-the-air or OTA update through the Settings app for developers with iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad models running either iOS 8.3 beta 1 or beta 2. Also, today's beta carries a slightly revised build number over its predecessor of 12F5047F compared to 12F5037C, suggesting minor revisions since the last beta update. Furthermore, exactly like how Taiji won't jailbreak or even function on iOS 8.2, the public version, iOS 8.2 beta 3 or higher, or both previous iOS 8.3 beta versions, the tool in its current state will not support iOS 8.3, i.e. it cannot jailbreak 8.3 beta 3. Now, as just mentioned, the build number for iOS 8.3 Beta 3 is a slight bump over its predecessor, suggesting the following minor revisions. The addition of a new messages filter for non-contacts and the addition of the Apple Watch app, which was first introduced in the public build of iOS 8.2. Seriously, that's it. And interestingly, as of now, considering 8.3's overall lackluster changes to date, the update seems relatively meager in comparison to 8.1.x or even 8.2, and its changelog is more reminiscent of an incremental upgrade than the third major installment of iOS 8. And in light of that fact, it's certainly plausible that iOS 8.3 will receive additional features and improvements prior to and or on its public release. Furthermore, as with iOS 8.3 Beta 3's predecessors and 8.2 Beta 3 and up, the latest firmware contains Apple's Taiji jailbreak patching remedies first introduced in 8.1.3. And as far as 8.1.3's additional changes are concerned, the firmware will also introduce a revised Emoji selector, more diverse Emoji options with skin tone modifiers, support for two-step Google verification, wireless CarPlay connectivity, additional Siri language support, and Apple Pay for the China Union Pay network. Now due to the interesting nature and 
current state of the iOS beta and public releases, and given the unclear timeframe of iOS 8.3's release, it's entirely possible that Taiji or Pangu, whichever group releases the next jailbreak, will opt to wait until 8.3's release before issuing a new untethered jailbreak tool. Now, for more details on iOS 8.2 and the firmware's jailbreak status, I recommend watching my recent coverage on the topic that I published following 8.2's release. You can find it in an annotation as well as on my channel. And as always, if you're already jailbreak, broken to preserve your device's iOS 8.1.2 or even 8.2 beta 1 or beta 2 jailbreak, avoid updating entirely. Whether it's to iOS 8.2 or 8.3, as both will result in the immediate loss of said jailbreak. And for those of you who are currently stuck on either iOS 8.2 or 8.1.3, remember to stay tuned and also that we're receiving new jailbreak tools in rapid fire succession thanks to Taiji, Pangu, and PP, whereas in years past we would only receive one jailbreak per major version version of iOS, for example, Evasion and Evasion 7 for iOS 6 and iOS 7 respectively. So this is definitely an exciting time for jailbreakers. We are going to receive a new utility, it's just a matter of for which version and when. So remember to stay tuned, I will keep you guys completely updated and also take into consideration the fact that any other report that you see online suggesting that Apple closed the vulnerabilities Taiji was planning on exploiting to achieve an untethered jailbreak are purely based on conjecture and speculation. So I'll keep you guys updated along the way and I'll release the first tutorials once they're available. Be sure to rate this video up if you found it helpful and click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you aren't already subscribed to be notified when I release new videos. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.